Welcome back to Kawa Kapa. How is everybody doing? I hope you're doing good. I Today I kind of want to talk a little bit about sexy motorcycles. What makes them, well, first of all, the term sexy motorcycles. Uh, it's a very interesting term and I didn't know about this term. I don't think I've ever used the term until I didn't start writing. And it doesn't make sense if you think of it in the overall picture. It's a object. It's something well, it's just an object. See, when you really think about the term sexy, it's typically, at least for me, it's always been about, you know, my favorite actress. Well, she's sexy. My wife, right? Um, that girl walking down the street or whatever it may be. But it's never been associated with a motorcycle for me until I didn't actually start riding. So why does the term even exist? Why, why is the term even a thing when we think about motorcycles, an object. That's what I'm going to be talking about today because it's, it's just a funny, um, I guess it's just, it's, it's always been kind of funny to me. So let me kind of go backwards a little bit and explain to you guys kind of the beginning of how this all happened. So when we first started riding, uh, I remember my wife and I went, you know, to buy our first motorcycles. As you guys know, many of you who ride, you know how that is. Uh, buying the first motorcycle is very, very special. And then, of course, as you start riding, you, you know, you, well, I should say, as you start shopping for motorcycles, you look at these motorcycles and uh, trying to decide what makes the most sense for you and, you know, for your riding skill and all the fun stuff that most of you guys already know. However, there's this uh, weird aspect that came into, into effect. I remember, uh, you know, we walked into a dealership and we're looking at all these motorcycles. And I, and I think it was one of the first times where I really caught myself, and maybe I said it before, but this is where I kind of caught myself the first time saying, whoa, that's a sexy motorcycle. And I don't think I paid so much attention to it at that time. But then, of course, I started writing and I go out and I meet a lot of you, the you know the subscribers who, uh, who are local here. I met you guys and, um, and girls. <laughs> and you know, you were riding some awesome freaking bike. And I remember looking at it and going, damn, man, that's a sexy bike. And it's kind of an interesting aspect when you think about how you, you perceive it, right? But what makes a motorcycle sexy? What makes it so, what makes us say that's a sexy motorcycle? Uh, I'm going to get to that in a minute. But before I do that, the interesting thing is when I went on to group rides, right? Uh, you go out to group rides and uh, a lot of my previous videos kind of show some of the group rides that I went out to and I'm out there just kind of uh, enjoying the ride, enjoying, you know, enjoying everyone else. The motorcycle community is an amazing community to start with. So it was amazing for me to go out there and just kind of ride with everybody. And then, of course, once you ride, you get to your destination, everybody parks their bikes and you start chatting, right? You get a cup of coffee, whatever, go get something to eat. And then, of course, you start chatting away with everybody. But a lot of us we kind of go around looking at the bikes and wow that's an awesome bike and you know let's talk about the bikes that's the way group rides work in general and i don't know it was i have i have such a vivid memory of one of my first ones that i went on and uh, i remember seeing uh, you know a couple of bikes where i'm just looking at it and then my first reaction the first words that come out of my mouth is like dude man that's a sexy bike and I think that's when I keep catching myself saying that, that a bike is so sexy. And then after the group rides, here we are, we kind of, my wife and I, we, you know, the first couple of years where we were actually going out and going to the motorcycle shows. And again, I'm catching myself saying this. So what makes a motorcycle sexy? What, what is it about a motorcycle that is sexy? What gives us that sense uh, and that need almost to say that's a sexy motorcycle? And by the way, if... Have you actually ever done that? Do you catch yourself calling a motorcycle sexy? And if you do, please leave me a comment and tell me what specifically you think uh, made you say that. I'm gonna get into it and I'm kinda gonna, I'm gonna go down with what I think is the reason for that and what caused, what I think caused me to say that. And uh, let's see if you guys agree with it. But for me, uh, you know, I have a background in photography and videography, obviously. And so I have a, when I look at something, when I look at an object, <laughs> in this case, the motorcycle, I look at the curves of it, the lines, uh, you know, it, it stands, the way it stands uh, and, and just 
the angles and, and just visually, what does it do? Well, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that when you look at motorcycles, they there's a specific design of all motorcycles that, no, I, I wouldn't say all, what we consider as the sexy motorcycles, but there's a specific design, a shape, a form, right? And so if, when you look at a motorcycle, you get this visual stimulation and that's done by design, uh, not just for aerodynamics and weight and uh, you know functionality, but it's also done for appeal. And that's perfectly normal. That's obviously a good thing. But the way I see it is if I take my camera and I take a picture of my bike, I always look for that curve. I, I look for that, that specific, I want to say, almost like a, I compare it to a sexy woman. I mean, I really do because for me, like I said, because I have a, a background in fine art, uh, I've done countless uh, photo shoots with you know beautiful models and it's the curves, the lines, the, the shape, right? And when I look at a motorcycle, it's so much like it. It it's just beautiful the way that there's a, there's a design in it that there's a specific. I don't even know how to explain it, but there's a specific thought process that that went into it when they designed it. Um, if you look at the the a most motorcycles from the top down, you kind of see what I'm talking about. And this being YouTube, I have limited capabilities of what I can and cannot say because obviously it's YouTube but you guys understand what I'm saying there's the form of the motorcycle especially from the top down uh, that really really correlates especially with a lot of men uh, these days I guess with a lot of women too but it's simply put the correlation between a motorcycle and a beautiful woman is absolutely there and then there's certain bikes that I think there's a correlation between I can correlate many, many, many motorcycles with a lot of my female models, um, but I can also correlate motorcycles with a lot of my male models. It depends obviously on the motorcycle itself. So it's kind of interesting because suddenly I realize, yeah, it's not quite that unique actually. It, it's all it is, it's just motorcycles by nature, their design, uh, be it for functionality or for aerodynamics, whatever it is, by design have to create a, you know, a natural curve. And shockingly, that same curve is just something that matches with, well, humans, right? So there is a, there is a, a attachment, a visual attachment to motorcycles. There is a, I guess you, can, you want to say almost like a sexual presence in a lot of motorcycles and I know a lot of you guys are gonna go I have no idea what you're talking about but I think many of you guys will get what I'm saying again I am I'd love to go into more detail about this but it's very difficult to get into more detail because again it's YouTube and certain words I'm just gonna get you know um, YouTube doesn't like a lot of stuff it's pretty prude um, anyway it interesting to me to hear people talk about motorcycles as sexy but I would say over the last little bit especially once I kind of caught on to it the more I look into it the more photos I take of motorcycles and the more I discover different forms of motorcycles I really do start it start to correlate them to my past of doing the, mo the model shoots and yeah Motorcycles are sexy for that reason. There is a huge correlation between uh, the, the, nat the natural aspect of humanity, um, especially the female form, um, to the design of motorcycles. It's incredible to me. I love it. Um, and now it makes so much sense when people say that is a sexy motorcycle. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded lately. It's, I've been just up to my neck in uh, work, and it's been one of those crazy, crazy years, actually. This whole year has been absolutely insane. But I think this is one of those videos where I just want you guys to think about it a little bit. I definitely want to hear your perspective. I know it's an unusual way of looking at stuff. But at the same time, I know a lot of you guys do this. 
I, I'm fully aware that a lot of you guys are doing this. You're, you're, I, I know how many of you guys have said that about my, uh, my Ninja 650 where, uh, you know, especially when we went to a meetup or we went for a ride, um, I've heard it countless times where somebody says, okay, that's a sexy motorcycle. And a uh, sexy bike is what you guys usually say, but I understand it. And I'm, I'm happy to kind of get that out of my mind. I'm one of those people that it bothers me when I don't understand something. So there you go. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think and why you specifically think that a motorcycle is sexy. Uh, do you agree with me, disagree with me? I have no idea, but I'm gonna be very interested in reading your comments. If you made it out this far, you're awesome. Thank you so much for uh, your support. Um, I'm gonna try and do a lot more uploads. Uh, soon i hope as long as things calm down a little bit and um till then well i'll chat with you guys later uh, ride safe and keep taking those pictures of your bikes if any one of you guys ever want to send uh, photos to you know of your bikes feel free cowcouple at gmail.com thank you catch you guys on the next one bye